What's up guys, I'm Tom Malone, this is Malone Post, and today's video is gonna be another interesting one. So, as I do at night, as I, you know, lay in bed, um, I comb wish for the most outrageous prices for products that everyone knows and seeing what I can find. Now, when you're looking at, you know, your really expensive, say your Apple products, you always have the first generation that comes out, right? Apple creates it. Then you'll get your copycats that'll come in and try and give you something affordable for just cheaper, similar quality, right? Those people always happen. Um, and then once the other Chinese manufacturers get a hold of it, then they are able to recreate it as cheap as possible. Well, that's what we have here today. We have, these are called the i7 True Wireless Stereo Headphones, whatever you wanna call them. Um, but essentially these are AirPods. Now they might not look like it from the case and we'll go through that but these are supposed to be AirPods. Now, when this package showed up, you can't tell right now, obviously. Uh, I thought the package was empty and that's literally because this case weighs like, literally there's no weight to this thing at all. Now, when you do get it in the mail, it comes just in a you know some bubble wrap, you get the case, you get a little USB to micro USB charging cable and here inside you get your AirPods. Now, these we got in black because I didn't want to see the difference and the big thing you notice right away is going to be the size difference between these and airpods um, we'll give you some close-ups but this is the difference right now between these black pods and a legit pair of airpods and you can see it's basically entirely this much taller with this lid here than the other ones now this surprisingly weighs like 10 times the amount as this this feels like that yeah, you have your airpods you have you know, whatever else is happening around them, the wires and charging and stuff. But it feels like this is like legitimately empty. Like it feels like there's nothing inside this case. In fact, I might, I might pop it apart later and just see what's in it. Um, so when you are looking at it though, it does try and mimic a lot of the same features. You do have uh, like your power or your connection button at the bottom. It gives you lights for the amount of charge it has on it. On the back is your US or your US micro USB port to charge, whereas the lightning is on the bottom of the AirPods. And when you open it up, the only thing that you have to worry about with these is, you know, with your AirPods, put them in, get that satisfying snap and you're good to go. These ones where it should actually be your normal microphone is where you charge it. So there's some kind of prong in the bottom here that it just like snaps into place to charge up. The only thing about that is they come off those chargers a lot. So it's really tricky on that end to make sure you're always getting a full charge out of these. However, when you are looking at, you know, the connection, everyone, the big thing when AirPods came out was how easily they connected to your phone. And this is pretty similar. Now this is at the same level as any, you know, traditional Bluetooth speaker where you hit the button, it comes up in your um, Bluetooth settings, you hit pair. And now whenever I want to listen to them, they actually do start up just like you would a normal pair of AirPods. You hit the power button, you're pretty much good to go. When it comes to sound quality though, it's not even close. Um, these, the best way I can describe these would be when you, you know you get on an aer airplane and they give you those headphones um, just to listen to just in case you don't have your own and like they're absolutely terrible. You're not getting good audio. You have to like cup over your ears at the same time as listening to, to like try and make out the audio. These are worse than airplane headphones. Uh, the sound is awful. I tried using them on some zoom calls and seeing how it works with other people with, you know, just their audio. I couldn't make out a single word they said. Uh, if you are listening to songs and you know the lyrics to the songs you're listening to, then these will work because you kind of already have an idea what's going on. But the sound is trash. <laughs> the sound is really bad. Um, actually, the one funny thing is if you look at this lid, it literally feels like a Kinder Surprise lid. If you guys have Kinder Surprise, it's like a thin plastic, like yellow sheet. And that's what this like feels like if you're holding it, like the malleability of it and the, like how pliable it is. It literally feels like a Kinder supply, Surprise that you're holding in your hand. And that's a good analogy because you literally don't know what you're gonna get when you open these things. Um, Having said that, if you do need something simple, something cheap, these cost me two bucks. It took them like a month and a half to get here. I would maybe spend a couple more dollars, maybe try and go up to 10 and see what you can get. Realistically, though the price, you know, someone's selling the $10 ones versus the two, it's probably the same manufacturer. So you probably have to go up to like the official Black Pods or one of those other companies that are selling like the $70, $60 ripoff AirPods that supposedly have good sound quality. Um, I do want to try those next, by the way. But for 
It does play music. It does connect to your phone. The case is outrageously big and it's incredibly hard to fit in your pocket, especially when you're used to holding something like this in your hand. But I guess they do the job. Um, is it worth $2? No. <laughs> like for the quality you get, my analogy is always Subway. Um, so you could probably get, I think that's, if you got a sub and the sub was like $7 to make it a meal for a drink, you could, with your Subway, you could, for the same price, get an additional drink and a cookie. Um, so if anything, I would just go with the drink and cookie with your Subway and then save the $2 and put it towards that. Um, you know, but yeah, otherwise they're kind of trash. But if you want to try them out, <laughs> it's not like it's that expensive. It's $2 plus like 10 cent shipping. So try them out, give them a month. Um, the one, actually, the one thing I will say that is nice about these is some people do complain that the AirPods are too small to fit in their ears. When you look at these size comparison, they're incredibly different in the overall size of what fits in your ear. So if you do struggle with AirPods fitting in your ear, not snug enough and falling out, this might actually be the solution for you. Uh, it won't have the audio quality or anything else that you would get with an AirPod, but if you're looking for that same AirPod aesthetic, you might wanna try these out because they do fit a lot more. For me, they're way too tight. They barely fit in my ear canal because AirPods are perfect for me, but can't please everyone. For me though, I'm gonna stick with the cookie. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Tone Malone. This is Malone Post. It will be linked down below through Wish if you do wanna check it out. Thanks for watching.